Oh, g'day everyone, uh, this is Bill Lawson and uh, Andy Carter uh, reporting from uh, the 23rd Mudgy Angus Breeders uh, Sale. Uh, this is our Angus uh, feature sale of the year. Uh, it, was a, it was a great quality yarning. We had, uh, had over a thousand cattle here uh, for competition and uh, the quality was absolutely outstanding. Um, today uh, we sold the steers. We had a really good run, uh, good run of steers. Not as many uh, steers offered this year as in previous years, uh, a lot of lot of vendors, uh, either cows were down and um, didn't have enough to sell, so our, our numbers of steers were certainly back. Uh, we had some really great uh, lead calves. We had uh, 300 and, uh, up to 375 kilos straight off uh, straight off mum, uh, making a bit over 500 uh, five dollars a kilo, sort of topping at around about uh, 1800 dollars, anywhere from sort of 1750 to, to 1800 for those lead calves. We uh, we dropped down in the second cut at 300 to 320 and um, escalated in the cents per kilo generally around about that 550 up to about 570 uh, cents a kilo uh, and then uh, in our little little uh, little tackers everyone was trying to buy to a to a dollar value um, and I suppose the the, the the very lightest of the steers here today I think they sold to sort of 750 cents or very close to um, at sort of $1,400. Um, Andy, uh, very good uh, yarding the cows and calves and something we haven't seen for a quite a number of years was a lot of three-in-one units, mate. Yeah, absolutely, mm. yeah. So we, uh, we yarded roughly about 120 cows and calves. They were uh, tremendous cows, all, majority of them young cows, first or, uh, or second or third calvers. Uh, big calves as well, as Bill said, and, uh, and preg-tested back and calf. They topped at $4,000. Uh, they were three in ones. A lot of three in ones were making 38 plus, um, 38, 39, topping at $4,000. Then we went around onto some uh, young heifers and calves, uh, smaller calves. They, uh, yeah, they were making 33, 34, 3,500 um, all day. And then, um, and then uh, there were some mixed age older cows at the end that were making just a shade over $3,000 uh, for them. Then we moved on to, we had a terrific consignment of uh, preg-tested heifers, roughly about 350, uh, 350 of them. Uh, two very good consignments of AI heifers. Um, something we uh, something we yeah. haven't seen in in, uh, in the district. We've seen it, you know, when we've done uh, paddock sales and the likes, mm. but nothing that we've uh, had the opportunity of selling in here. And it was it was certainly accepted. Um, Absolutely. The, you know, the I think the vendors were uh, rewarded with their with their, all their hard work in, yeah. in, in yeah. that. Um, and you know, we had a, a lead pen of uh, heifers. A uh, champion pen today was uh, Delaney, Delaney uh, Pastoral yeah, yeah, Company uh, down at Ralston, and they. Uh, I think they topped out a beautiful pen of uh, 14 Angus heifers. They topped it in uh, 2,900. 2,900 dollars. Mm -hmm. And yeah. as you say, Andy, on those AIs. Yeah, yeah. So any of the uh, any of the pre-tested heifers that were uh, had a bit of size and, and closer to calving, they were uh, they were making 26, 2,700 um, all day. And then once you sort of got back from the uh, back to a bit later carve in the uh, in the calving back into the uh, August September's. Uh, and, and lighter in the frame, they were sort of still making 22, 23, up to 2,500 dollars. But uh, but I think bulk of the uh, preg tested heifers would have made from 23, if not 25, 24, 25, yeah, 25, roughly. 2,600 dollars. Yeah, uh, and there was roughly 350 of them. So very good sale on our female cattle here today. And then we went around onto our uh, unjoined heifers, Billy. Yeah, and uh, you know we said we had we did have uh, a couple of the lead pen there. I think made about eighteen hundred and forty yep. from memory, um, about four hundred kilos. So uh, you know certainly certainly into the into the fours. But when we when we got onto a run of light light heifers, account the Delaney pastoral uh, had four, a consignment of 50, uh, 50 little unjoined heifers and sort of late to 200 kilos and they were making 16, 17, 17, 17, 17, 16. 17, 16. So um, yeah, certainly uh, people were certainly trying to buy to a, a dollar value once again, Absolutely. but um, we had really good support and uh, from the RMA uh, guys, uh, certainly Milling Stewart um, uh, was, 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 was here and PT Lord, uh, PT Lord was certainly active uh, Joey and, um, yeah. and they, Mark, they come yeah. over, and yep. Mark, uh, Joe and Mark come over, um, and um, yeah, so it was uh, very appreciative they they turned up, and Absolutely. yeah, yeah, we just like to thank all our vendors too. They uh, 
They uh, lined up with a, a terrific run of cattle. Um, season's gone with us a bit. It's um, Traditionally, we'd probably yard a few more wieners and, and the likes, but uh, everyone's got a bit of grass around and back on numbers, so they've, uh, they've decided to hold back their wieners. But uh, certainly all our, uh, all our young cattle and all our female cattle uh, looked to pitch in the yard today. So thank you to all the vendors and uh, all the purchasers and, and good luck with them. Thank you. Cheers. Are you partnered with an RMA Network Independent Livestock and Property Agent? 